Good morning, morning, Northern Michigan. Registered dietitian Jen May is back in studio. It's good to see you as always, Jen. Thanks for having me back, Melissa. You have a lot of, uh, and it smells really good too, by the way, <laughs> a lot of different snack ideas here for the kids, for the family, items to put in the kids' lunches, and even after school snacks. Yes. And these are all very healthy. What exactly can we make? out of all of this? Well, I brought in some things this morning that can be really great to create your own trail mix. Nice. And this can be great for after school snacks for adults and kids, okay. throw in your lunch. And snacking during the day, you know, for adults can be right. really good because it can help prevent us from being overly hungry at our meals. Okay. And when we're overly hungry, we tend to eat very quickly and we can eat a little bit too much. Okay. So great. I brought in some different things that we can throw together and create our own healthy snack mix. So we have some walnuts okay. and some almonds, and the nuts provide a healthy source of fat and a little bit of protein in there. Okay? okay. So that can be a good uh, combination here because we have our carbohydrates, our proteins, our healthy fats, so those things are going to help keep us satisfied for a longer period of time. Which is nice too, because I know around 7 o'clock when the morning show ends, I am starving. And it's that weird time of the day where you could either go lunch or breakfast for me really, and I think, okay, if I just had something to snack on at my desk. So this is nice too, not just for the kids like you mentioned, but to take to work with you. This would be great, yes. Okay. And I have some sunflower seeds and some pumpkin seeds. Excellent. So if you can't do the nuts. Um, also have some dried fruit can be really good to put in here. So I brought some raisins, some dried apples some banana chips, and these are dried mangoes. Dried mangoes, And these Sounds are fabulous. delicious. Yes, they are great. And dark chocolate is a really great source of antioxidants, so I brought in some dark chocolate chips, and those can be a great thing to add to the trail mix too. Right. And to help with that chocolate craving throughout the, the day. Chocolate. Come on, you have to add that with it. <laughs> exactly. So you can just, you know, throw all these things together, right. put them in a Ziploc bag, and take them with you, and you'll be really surprised at what a delicious, healthy snack this can be throughout the day. And what's nice too, you don't have to refrigerate any of these either. No. So you can keep them in your purse, in your, you know, your luggage bag, your, your briefcase, whatever in, in the kids lunch box and you know it'll stay fresh it'll stay good for them exactly exactly Excellent. and I put these things together all the time and my kids will come home and can I have more trail mix tomorrow really? so, yeah, so they're asking great. for it which is good healthy snacks to hold them over either after school to take to lunch with you know their sporting events whatever um, but obviously great snacks here and where can you get some of these items I mean do you recommend drying the, the bananas yourself you know health food stores health food store actually okay. here locally in Traverse City I was at Oriana's and I picked okay. up they have a lot of bulk section which you can find and a lot great. of the stuff you can pick up at a lot of you know grocery stores right. and you can pick it up and I actually brought a spoon and a baggie so when we're done we'll kind of mix you up your own trail mix I and, love that. and leave it That's with you for the rest part. of the day <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, Jen, as always, thank you for being here. Thank you for this great information. I'll post all of this on our website, including the entire interview, so you can make some of these healthy snacks for your kids and for yourself to take to work. And taking a look at the bus stop forecast, here is Storm Team Meteorologist Joe Charlevoix.